Hi guys, it's your boy Ghost and thank you for joining Ghost Gaming 83. Of course, I am your host Ghost. Today, we will start our general highlight and today's general highlight goes to drum rolls please. Dun, 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 dun. Napoleon. Okay, let's get to Napoleon. So let's go to the tavern. Recruit portrait Napoleon belongs in the category of Europe. So let's take a look at him. Here he is. Now, there's a lot of uh, missed portraits given to Napoleon. Um, I don't see a lot of people using Napoleon, so there might be question why I chose Napoleon to highlight him. Uh, a lot of people on my server, especially the main player, um, they given me comment about Napoleon saying that, you know, Napoleon is nothing special. He's just one of those decent general, but there are better general out there that you can get. Correction, if I may, Napoleon is one of a great, great general, a, a really good general that you can get as based on how you played him. Okay, so let's take a look at his basic stat. He starts off with, with 119 leadership. Leadership means HP. HP is, I believe, health power. Attack is 112. Nothing special. He's at average. Uh, defense is at 113. Average. Politics, 112. Now, politics is used for subsidy. He might be increasing construction, training, or production on gold or things like that. So there are a few misconceptions and misportraits on uh, Napoleon. I, I browse the internet, you know, to find information, to find things to create this video. And I've seen a lot of funny pictures. People know Napoleon as riding a horse, you know. Napoleon is one of the shortest general ever in our history you know he is i believe he's standing at five feet six inch um to me he's an average guy you know because i'm like five foot seven so five foot six five foot seven uh you know to me he's okay but for you guys you big foot people that are six twelve or whatever you know or six foot one or or above <laughs> I'm just playing around but you know you might consider him as a, a small general at his age but I see a lot of people uh, giving him portraits instead of riding a horse he'll be riding a donkey or you know a puppy or even a cow you know and I find that pretty funny but anyways let's go into his specialty Invincible Emperor of France. That's what he is. A uh, long time ago, I guess he uh, he's he's a mighty conqueror of France. So this increased his troop attack by 10% and increased his siege machine attack by 20% when General is leading the army. Uh, I used uh, when when I look at troop attack, I tend to get confused between ground troop and troop attack in total so when it says troop attack it's the total unit of troops that you have so basically when it said when it says increased troop attack meaning that it increased not only one troop but increased your ground troop your archer your cavalry your siege okay at 10 percent so all your unit is increased with a buff of 10% and it also increased 20% of your siege attack okay so 20% plus the 10% of troop attack you have 30% on the siege machine okay let's go into his specialty the first one siege machine assault it increased siege machine HP by 10 and siege machine attack by 10 okay so basically you have 20 percent on siege attack plus the troop attack 10 percent which is 30 
plus another 10%, which is 40. Okay, let's go into the next one, Siege. So this will increase the march size capacity for your march. So you can march with more units and increase 6%. Also, it, it, it will increase uh, attack and siege machine and range troop attack by 10%. So you have 20 plus 10, 30 plus siege machine assault, 10, that is 40, plus another 10 of uh, siege is, of course, 50. So let's go to the next one, War God. It increases troop attack by 6%. All troops attack, I meant. And all troops attack is basically troop attack. Okay? So, when it says increase troop attack, it doesn't say a specific troop. It doesn't say any troop like ground, archers, cavalry, siege, or nothing. It just says troop. So, I'm assuming all troop. So, it will increase 6%. So, that 6% will go into the 10%, which is 16%. So you have for siege also is 20% plus 10% plus another 20% from the two specialty which is 50% plus 6% so it's 56% on the siege uh, machine attack. So if you increase if you max out all three of those specialty you will unlock battle of Austerlitz is that how you pronounce it? But anyways, it will increase 16% on your attacking troops attack and march size capacity by 10%. So you have another 16% that's added to troop attack, which is uh, you already have 6% plus the 10 is 16 plus another 16. Okay, that's 32. 32% for the troop attack. Now, that's really good for all troop attack at 32%. Okay. For siege machine attack, you have 20 plus the 10 from our troop attack, which is 30, uh, plus the 2 specialty, which is 10 per, uh, 10 uh, buffer 10% per specialty is 50, uh, plus the 6%, okay, so it's 56, uh, and then plus the last one is 16%. Okay, 56 plus 16. Okay, now you know what it is. Okay, 72%. And it also increased 10% of your march size. 10% plus is 16%, uh, 6 equals 16%. So you get to march even more of your unit into the battlefield. Okay, so a lot of people. Uh, in my server, uh, look down on Napoleon, but to me, Napoleon, it's, it's a he's a really good general, uh, for PvP if you can use him the right way. If you can put the proper gear, refine it, level him up, give him some stars, he will do a lot of damage when you bring him into PvP. Okay, so... What type of skill book should I skill Napoleon? Okay, a lot of you might be wondering. I mean, I talk about his stats, uh, what's he's useful for, his specialty, his special skill. What about skill book? So let's go into this general that I have. I'm still working on him. Napoleon. Okay. I skill him with increased mount troop attack, uh, increased range troop bonus, increased siege machine. Okay, so those are increased. I want the range and the siege machine. I might replace the siege machine bonus and the range bonus to put in range uh, range troop attack and siege troop attack by 25% so it will increase uh, the following with uh, let's say for example range troop attack at 25 plus the 10% or 16% actually plus the 32% if that includes the special 
and the specialty together uh, that will be a lot okay that would be 57 percent okay and also 25 percent on the siege plus you know uh, the whatever total that 30 percent from the special and with all of the specialty buffs plus the troop attack he has really high damage for siege machine okay so you can play in your own uh, perspective point of view you can skill uh, Napoleon with you know the, the type of skill book that fits your play better than the way I skill it okay if happen to be that let's say on your own server there are members that are using Napoleon hit him up you know ask him uh, ask him to give you some advice uh, to how to properly skill Napoleon or what type of gear or refining uh, should you put into them um, they will probably show you okay but for sure on my server I don't see anyone using Napoleon at all okay in fact I guess I'm the only one that will be using Napoleon I got him to level 25 I still need to star him give him a five star still need to put gear and all the stuff on him um, there's a lot of things I need to do with this general but once it is done I will test drive him and see how or what type of damage he put out and what he can do in PvP and SVS. Okay guys, thanks for joining today's General's Highlight. And don't forget, subscribe, like, and turn on that notification bell. Okay, I have a lot of, a lot of videos coming up. Not only just general's highlight general's highlight of course like i said uh once per week every week there will be new general i will go over and highlight them and also that's just one one portion of the video there are other videos um, including what type of rss what type of you know damage input boss all the stuff like that there are plenty of other videos that i will be uploading so please subscribe like and turn on your notification bell so when the next video comes out you will be the first one to get notified okay thank you so much for joining ghost gaming 83 it's been a pleasure and i'll see you next time happy gaming guys see ya